Hi friends, Namaste and welcome back to our YouTube channel Twitter Pratik. In today's session session, we are going to learn about CSS Grid Layout Module. The CSS Grid Layout Module is the latest technique to design and prepare various web layouts. It offers a grid-based layout system with rows and columns which makes very easier to design any kind of web pages without having the use of floats and positioning CSS properties. This is the main technique nowadays used by any other CSS libraries like Bootstrap for layout designing. Before we start, if you are new to our YouTube channel and still didn't subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that it will be notified whenever we publish our new session videos. And friends, how is our CSS sessions are going? Did you really enjoy our session videos? Please don't forget to do comments your feedbacks. And guys, on our next coming videos, in what topics or course that you want to do learn? Please do comment about your interested topics. Now let's begin our today's session. We can make any HTML element into a grid container just by using the display property of that HTML element as grid or inline grid. A grid layout consists of a parent element with one or more child elements. And inside our grid container for making any layouts, they are using two terms, row and columns for designing any style of layouts. The grid rows are the horizontal lines of grid system and the grid columns are the vertical lines of the grid system. We can just compare with the table row and columns to understand it better. And as in table, we have cell spacing which is the gap between the cells. Same as that, here we have grid row gap for giving values for row line gaps and the grid column gap for adjusting column gap. For defining the number of columns in our grid layout and also for defining the width of each column, there is a CSS property, grid, template, columns. We can give the various values with space separated for defining the width of the respective columns. Let's have one example for creating four columns of equal size grid layout. We can use the following CSS rules for our grid layout. Dot, grid, dash, container, display, grid, grid, template, columns, auto, space, auto, space, auto, space, auto. Here the value that we used, auto, that gives the equal weight sizes for all our four columns. For better display our grid layout, let's give some CSS properties for our grid container and div elements. Now here we can see that we have 4 grid items inside our grid container. Let's add some more grid items. As we defined 4 column grid layout, if we added more than 4 grid items, the grid items will be automatically adds new row to put the extra grid item. As we use the auto value, we get equal sized grid columns. If you want to create some particular sized grid columns, we can give values of it in our grid template columns property. 80 pixel, 200 pixel, or 2, 40 pixel. Now here we can see that different sized grid columns in our grid layout. Similarly, as grid template columns, we have also grid template rows property to define the height of each row. Grid 
template rows a depiction 200 pixels now we can see that the first row has 80 pixel of row height and the second row has 200 pixel row height in our grid layout on our previous session about CSS Flexbox, we already learned about various values for justified contents for making horizontal alignments of the contents. Here in this grid layout module, we also have similar values for alignments of our grid item. For this, we have the property justify content. And for the values of this property, we can give as space around, space between, for various style justify alignment, and also center value for align to the center, and start and end values can be used to align left and right alignments. Along with this, for making vertical alignments. We have another property, Align Content. And for this Align Content property, we have the same like values that we use for Justify Content. By default, we have one grid item for each column of each row. But when we need to span multiple columns or rows to make design layout, we can use Grid Column property. The grid column property defines on which columns to place in an item. Let's have one example of 6 column grid layout. Now for making our first item to span 4 columns, we can give the grid column property for item 1 class as grid column 1 slash 5. This makes our item 1 starts on column 1 and ends before the column 5. Here we can see that our first item is now merged of 4 columns. As well as we can also give the value at 1 slash span 3. Which makes our item 1 started on column 1 and span to 3 columns. Similarly, if you want to make span item 2, we have to give the value at 2 slash span 3. As our item 2 is on the second location, so we gave the 2 value for the start and span 3 columns after the second value. For making span of rows, we also have grid row property and for making spanning rows like for spanning three rows for item 1 we will use as grid row 1 slash 4 or also we can use 1 slash span 3 for easier and apply this column and row span together we can also use the shorthand property at grid area, which consists of four values like grid row start, grid column start, grid row in, and the grid column in. Let's have one another example to make our item 8 will be spanned as started 1 from row, started 2 from column indeed to 5 on row and indeed to 6 on column. So for doing this we can use the grid area property as grid area 1 slash 2 slash 5 slash 6. Similarly for making our item 8 started on row line 2 and column line 1 and span 2 rows and 3 columns, we can apply the value as 2 slash 1 slash span 2 slash span 3. 
For making more easier, we can also use the name for the grid area. For giving name in the value of grid area, we just give the text of name. Like, grid, area, my area. And we can apply this grid area name as a value for the property grid template area. Here we can see that we just created the 5 column grid layout by using the grid area name. Now let's create one simple layout design with using the grid system and also using of grid area names. Here we have 5 items inside our grid container and each of these item classes we define the grid name as header, menu, main, right, and footer. Then for making our grid layout template, we gave the values for grid template areas as Here in this grid template areas rule, on the first value, we gave the six values of header grid area name that defines that all the five columns of first row will be spanned for header section. And on the second value, we gave one menu, three main, and two right grid area names, which defines that the second row will consist of First column is for menu, second, third and fourth column will be the main and the fifth and sixth column is for the right grid area. And the last value is menu and five footer grid area names. That defines the rule for third row as first column is for the menu then remaining all five columns is for footer grid area. Here we can see that how easily we created a CSS layout design just by using the CSS grid module. And by using these simple CSS properties of CSS grid module, we can easily create any advanced CSS layout designs. If you have any issues or any problems of any web design or development, you can feel free to contact us through our comment box. I feel happy to assist you to solve your issues. That's all for today. We will come back soon with more interesting videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.